Hello everyone, welcome to Use My Television Toy Showcase channel. Today, I'm going to call to this video update. Now, it's only because most of the information held within this, you already kind of know. At the end, I'll even unbox something for you. Excellent stuff. And a reminder, the giveaway's coming up. I'll probably put that video up later this week, and it will run until we hit 3333. Three, three, three. Yeah, three. All the threes. Oh, why is going on? Anyway, first bit of business is the toy hunt video I just did. Exciting, walking around the Gold Coast, looking at all the shops with all the Star Wars toys. A lot of comments are, did you get anything? Yes, I did. Even though some of it, well, none of it was really Star Wars. Hmm. First thing is this bad boy. This is one of those boxes, the light box that you put the letters on and you put whatever you want on it. It has on it P.O. Box 957 Lismore, New South Wales. It should say the letters 2480, which is the postcode, and then AU for Australia. I, not enough room. Why did I buy it? Five bucks. I thought, why not? And then I get it and I find out there's not enough room to even put my damn postcode on the thing. But it's there. Excellent. If you want to send me some fan mail, you know where to post it now. Also, I bought some Hot Wheels. I never thought at the beginning of the year, I'm like, I'm getting out of the Hot Wheels game. I don't want no more Hot Wheels. I've got too many Hot Wheels. And I went and bought some Hot Wheels. It's only a couple of treasure hunts I found just from the main line. Nothing fancy. I'm not even going to show them. And also, I'll show you a picture of this because you might not know, I'm a big wrestling fan. And I got the Intercontinental title. Fantastic. There it is sitting up on the wall next to my Universal title. I also got the Cruiserweight title and the World title, which is the WCW Heavyweight Championship for all of you who know wrestling. Excellent. Doesn't matter. Moving on. The stuff for Celebration that they have announced. I've already done a video about the, the action figures that we're talking about, but we want to go into a bit more detail about the... Well, we talked about the action figures, so we know about the two action figures of Obi-Wan and Maul and then there was the pops and the pops there's like those blue ones that are super rare and then they get the gold ones that's just shared exclusives and at the time of filming I didn't have the shared exclusives now we do so with the gold ones we know now that Vader is an Amazon Princess Leia is a hot topic Stormtrooper is a target Boba Fett is a box lunch Yoda is a GameStop and Chewie is FYE we're all up to date as well, I'll chuck up this picture as well. This is the Gold Pops. These are from Russia, and that's their store exclusives. You see the little logos on the boxes? They kind of look like, yeah, look, there's an Amazon one, one that looks like a Barnes & Noble, one that looks like a Disney store. Yeah, very similar. That's why. And a nice close-up image of Princess Leia. Very cool. The other stuff from the convention that we never got to mention was these images I'm going to put up here. This is just a collage of all the cool stuff that's coming. There's a football with Darth Maul's eyes on. I think it goes for about a hundred US dollars. There is a Darth Maul. I don't know what that thing is, but if you're interested, there it is. <laughs> a couple of plushies. Then you got that another Chewy. This one, remember the last one that Hasbro made? It was like that tickle one and it falls asleep. And all that. This one walks apparently. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's Hasbro. I think that is Hasbro. The pa packaging screaming Hasbro to me. Then you've got a Gamorrean guard's mouth that looks like a door knocker. Then you've got a bronze statue of Vader. A couple of astromech droids. Um, this trading card thing is going to be when you go into Celebration, you spend so much money, they give you a card or something like that. And it looks like one of the old school 1977, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Awesome. And then some interesting models of C-3PO and R2-D2. On the next page, we've got pins, we've got Leia Bush plushies, we've got a Star Wars Legion card game. We have a really sick statue of Darth Maul with his spider legs. There is a gentle giant bust of Hera Syndulla. That looks beautiful. That's really nice. Um, I don't know what the Boba Fett is. I think it might be an artwork. Then there's a print, which is a reimagination of the early 77 picture. And it looks like Bosk. It could be a magnet, could be a pen, could be anything. That's the kind of stuff you're missing out on. I didn't really, I gloss over it because it's not action figures. We do action figures right here, action figures. Awesome. Another thing I want to talk about is the views on one of my leaked videos was really, really low. And I'm like, why is that? And I'm like, 
did you guys not get the notifications and then I thought about it and in the comments section I mentioned New Zealand and New Zealand had a tragedy recently and is that because it was mentioned in the comments I had some subscribers from Christchurch and it was like oh I love Christchurch I've been there myself I love the place and we talked about it maybe it was censored and put down it was like it struggled in the first 24 hours to get 500 views really really struggled and I thought did everyone get the notifications did they just make it not be seen by anybody i'm not too sure about this but that's the theory i'll go behind it it wasn't pushed out to you guys to watch here's a link check that video out awesome stuff time for some unboxing this comes to me from jeff now jeff he's one of my subscribers who lives rather close to me and we had a little chat online about a certain figure he needed and a certain figure i needed and as star wars collectors do we help each other out so he got his figure, I got mine. He also sent me what looks like, this is cool. I hope I didn't show the addresses or anything on the screen. This looks like it's from Entertainment Earth. This looks. Let me hold it up. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. It's the Entertainment Earth. It's the uh, catalog. And it comes with one of those old school Star Wars cards. This is copyright 1977. It's a legit real real deal one, I can tell you that. They used these in the buyback scheme that was when you bought the 40th anniversary cards. They got the old cards and they embossed them with silver. On the back it makes a big picture, so there's no stats on the back. It's just not much to see, but very, very cool. Love that. And the Entertainment Earth catalog. I've never seen one of these before. Never. Obviously you get online and you see what they have in store, but oh man, you can buy the Golden Girls! <laughs> cool. There's some nice stuff in here. The, the thing about Entertainment Earth, I tend to just go to the Star Wars section, but you forget pop culture is a massive business, so they have lines in everything. Everything. Jeez. The Bat Cave. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to have a good read of that later. Thank you, Jeff. Let's get stuck into the the box. I'm gonna special effects of editing. Eleven minutes later. All right, we're taking the outer layer off. That's good because it had the address all over it. So don't want to be showing that. That's why we get PO boxes, everybody. I'll be able to show all my mail soon because <laughs> PO box. What have we got here? Hey, hey! Oh, it's in a star case! And bubble wrapped! Oh my god, this is packed so well. This is packed really well. Look at this! Woo! Vintage collection! VC-125 and Fist Nests. How good is that? Oh yeah! Oh, that's in really good condition. It's the first time I've seen the card back in person. I've never seen the card back. I've seen this image online thousands of times, at least. It's saved to my computer. I put it up as, you know, for talking points. If I talk about it, it comes up as a picture here. But to see it for the first time, I'm impressed with that card back. I know that everyone said, oh, it's too digitally rendered and all that. Let's go back in there. It's, it's too, you know, Photoshop. But no, no, I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Very, very cool. Thank you, Jeff. Awesome stuff. Woo! Ah, oh, cloth coat. It's much, much different. The only Amphis nest I ever owned was this one. And we're going to do a little cross comparison because I don't often see the two together. Ever. Look at that. Amphis nest. Hope that's coming in nice and clear for you all. Fantastic. you got the, the force link. 3.75 inch and the vintage collection 3.75 inch excellent stuff as you know in my toy hunt video i wanted to find when i went to that toy mate the Enfys Ness for 59 dollars it's the it's got the swoop bike and the six inch figure this store i went to didn't even have any so i was hmm, lucked out there i would have filmed it you would have seen it in the toy hunt video no hope you've enjoyed today's video update once again don't forget giveaway coming up soon Ooh, I left this on <laughs> to let you all know it was a giveaway it's
It's probably to remind myself to give it away to you. Excellent. Chuck some merch up on the screen. Usual Mike says hit, tap, slap. Leaked! And Usual Mike Television t-shirts, all available in my Redbubble store. Buying from the store helps my channel out. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Usual Mike 30 or on Instagram at Usual Mike Television. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap the little bell for notifications, slide a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.